everyone so in today's video i will be doing a summer manicure because summer is starting this week as always the first thing i'll be doing is starting off with a base coat and this is smoothing base coat from hollow taco Once that base coat is dry, I'm going in with my first coat of nail polish and this is unfortunately a retired polish from Hollow Taco, but it's called One Melon Followers and this color will be going on my thumb, my ring finger, and my pinky. As for my index finger and middle finger, I will be using the color Beach Please from Hollow Taco's Vacation Collection. I thought this would be a perfect color to use for the summer since it does represent white sandy beaches. Then of course I am going in with a second coat of polish with each color and making sure to wrap the free edge of my nail which helps to prevent chipping. Once those have dried, I'm putting a quick top coat on my index finger 
because I'll be adding some striping tape later in this video. The next thing I'm doing is taking this adorable Winnie the Pooh stamping plate that I got from Mundo de Uñas and I will be using this stamp of Winnie the Pooh with his pool floaty. Right here I am just taking a piece of scotch tape and cleaning up any other polish that I don't want to end up on my nail. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this red color called Left on Red from Hollow Taco and I'm going to paint Winnie's little red t-shirt. Once I'm done with his t-shirt, I'm taking this color from Hollow Taco called Work Bestie and I'm painting his pool floaty. And his pool floaty has a little patch on it so I went ahead and took a yellow color and just filled in that patch so it contrasts with the purple. And now I can finally fill in the rest of his body and I'm taking this color called Butterscotch Hop from Hollow Taco and filling in Winnie the Pooh and let me just say this is like the perfect match for his color. While I was letting the stamp dry, I put a coat of sticky base coat on my ring finger, which is where I will be placing the stamp. It has actually been quite some time since I put that top coat on my index finger, so now I can go in with the striping tape. I went ahead and just cut all of the pieces I was going to need and then I'm using some tweezers and placing all of those pieces of tape on my nail and then fixing them as needed. I decided to do this crisscross design and honestly, I really didn't know what design I was going to do with the tape until the moment I was doing it so I just kind of went with it.
After the tape is placed right where I want it, I made sure to press it down as much as possible to rid of any air bubbles under the tape. And then I went back in with the One Melon followers and painted over top the striping tape in a pretty thick coat just so that I would make sure it was opaque. Once that polish was on there, I immediately pulled off all of that striping tape so that I had clean lines for this design. And last but not least, I went in with a coat of Super Glossy Taco on all of my nails and I made sure to wrap the free edge of my nail once again to help prevent chipping. Here is the final product of these nails and I think this manicure is just so perfect for the beginning of summer. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.